lot to unpack here, obviously. So I'm just going to jump right in. Uh, Julia, uh, for you, you know, typically I feel like you're not known for your villainous roles, but with this twist, Psychopath kind of fits you well. So <laughs> how fun was it to sort of dive into it? I'll put a spoiler warning, I promise. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good, good. So what, say that again, how was how, how How fun was it just to like dive into this role and face off against Esther and all of that? Oh, it was so fun. I mean, it was so fun. You know, the, the where do I even begin? Um, it, it, what's really fun about the movie for fans of the first one is that now um, that we know Esther's secret, you know, it, it's fun to watch her trick everyone and see how far she can push it. Like how much longer is she gonna get away with this? And um, for me, Trisha, I was almost like playing two different characters. I treated it like the the, the beginning part of Trisha. Uh, I wanted to be as sort of believable and realistic as possible, you know, that she is desperate to heal her family and will hold on to, uh, she will protect her family at all costs, like she says in the trailer. Um, but then once she figures out what's going on with Esther to see how she handles that is um, I, I think really interesting. And that's, that's what drew me to it. Um, Esther's kind of met her match in that way. Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, Isabel, I was so curious, you know, like, what has it been like to revisit Esther after all these years? Is it, is it like riding like, like a very violent bike, essentially? It's a really good analogy for it. I mean, just as terrifying and exciting at the same time. Um, it, it was cool. I mean, I when, when I first found out about the the script and I, I sat down with David Leslie Johnson, our producer, and he, they took it out and Brent came on board. It was really kind of a question of whether or not at first that I could do it. So at first I was like trying to prove to everyone that like, yeah, I could come back and bring this role to life again. And then once, you know, it set in that we were going to Canada to make the movie. I remember I was just like, how are we going to do this without CGI, without, without anything? But it was really Brent's belief in me. And I did so much work on Esther as a character, revisited the first script and really kind of found the childlike quality that I had when I was 10 and did the first one and, and really just kind of stepped back into that world and into that place. Um, and, and as I worked through the script, actually thinking like, what would 10 year old Isabel have done, you know, different to who I am today and the choices that I would make today as an actor and really kind of finding a way to mold the two together because um, I wanted Esther to feel cohesive from beginning to end and also give the audience more of a human side to her while at the same time still feeling like they could play back and forth with whether or not they loved or hated her. And, and that was really, fun to work on yeah of course and like you said you know they brought back you and then they had the body doubles and and Julie I was wondering you know the role gets quite physical so what was it like to film that fight scene with Esther were you tussling with like the the children or I mean, I'm trying to remember no I was tussling with Isabel um and I remember uh I I find like fight fight scenes and and sort of stunts to be really really challenging and I and they always kind of like come out of nowhere for me because I'm so focused on the role and lines and actual scenes that when it gets to like the physical stunts, I'm like, wait, what, I have to do that? Um, but we did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it was a great. Little, a little wheelie chair for part of it, uh, which was which was really funny because that was the only thing that we realized that I could, cause to move around that agile, usually I was wearing, uh, I was squatting and Julia was wearing these platform shoes sometimes when we would see <laughs> You can't do that in a stunt scene because she has to be able to run around and I have to be able to move quickly. So the only thing we really discovered like on the day that worked was our camera operator's butt dolly. And so that scene where we're going around the kitchen <laughs> island, I was like, you know, walking with my feet on this little like, Cart. It was it was so funny. When you, when you think about it, it's like hilarious. I was so serious at the time, you know, because we're filming yeah. this like intense scene. <laughs> Definitely. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch it with that in mind. Yes. But, um, that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for talking. It was a great time. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>